What if science was on the cusp of something great? Something that could improve the lives of every person on the planet? What if you could help? The purpose of these experiments is to allow human beings to live longer, healthier, and happier lives. To do this, a large number of potential geroprotectors, molecules, and gene therapies must be evaluated for safety and efficacy. In less than a decade, we will see concrete applications materializing from this effort. We will see an explosion in effective life extension techniques. Remember that, on average, it takes 12 years and billions of dollars to get a single drug approved by the FDA, most of which do not address the underlying causes of the disease they claim to treat. This undertaking will continue to yield fruit for years to come by giving researchers and consumers the information they need to rise above the root causes and halt a sundry of ailments in their tracks. At this time, very few studies on lifespan and health span are initiated. Without a decisive push in the right direction, this will not change in the near future. Too late for the billions of people desperately in need of new treatments and therapies. So far, only one in ten of the most promising compounds identified by gerontology experts has been tested extensively enough to give us anything resembling conclusive evidence. This is excruciatingly slow progress. With an international team of dedicated researchers, three high-quality laboratories, and an extraordinary team of scientists and advocates, we will make a lasting contribution to the field of regenerative medicine. Is this possible? Can science dramatically prolong the vim and vigor of youth? In 1993, Kenyan doubled the lifespans of nematodes. Throughout their additional years, they maintained their vitality. In 2008, a mutation found by Aya Devara multiplied the nematodes' maximum and median lifespans by 10. In the same year, a mutation induced by Bartke increased the lifespan of mice by 50% which was increased by another 20 through caloric restriction. The good news is these humble rodents are very similar to us. Nearly 99% of mouse genes have a human equivalent. Biologists have already identified dozens of genes related to sustaining health and well-being. For example, S9330200 is associated with reduced risk for heart disease, cancer, and premature death in a statistically significant way. By testing these genes in mice, we can confirm their criticality to maintaining human health. Senolytics, compounds like desotinib and quercetin, can remove senescent cells, cells that display the classic signs of aging and are more likely to cause problems. They are implicated in the etiology of the deadliest diseases today. Heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and dementia. By showing how efficiently investigations into the aging process can be done, and how quickly these experiments can yield results, we hope to not only bring tangible breakthroughs to medicine, but also shift public perceptions of longevity research. We must get older, but we do not need to age.